Okay, students, so let us see this particular problem which we are taking today is a telescopic series or generally we solve it by VN method. A uh, very common pattern nowadays it is being started to ask at J mains also. It says that we have to sum this series where there is a factorial and there is a term further. So let's just quickly go back to the last term. It's an easy problem by the way. You just have to remember the pattern. These are pattern oriented problems. Earlier they used to be asked at J advanced but now they, they have moved it to J mains also. So if I see the rth term, the rth term was r square minus r plus 1 are factorial sir what is the pattern that you are talking about here the pattern is that we have to express ye jo term hai, right we need to express this as difference of two consecutive terms right difference of two consecutive terms so some teachers will tell you that this is a telescopic series some will tell you that we have to solve it by vn method Bo, uh, you know the intention is same behind solving this now why this is a good question because converting this into a sum of two difference of two consecutive terms is not that easy uh, so what we will do r square so okay let, let's let's consider another school of thought is sir ekdam se dekhe kya lagta hai sir ye r square minus 2r kar dete hain plus a kar dete hain plus r kar dete hain so it's a good step, right? You will get what? R minus 1 ka whole square plus R. But this does not help our case. Why it is not, why it is futile? Why? Because you have to understand, bachon, yaha par hum logo ko plus a gaya beech mein. So that makes it redundant for us. We, we do not want this plus here. So now what we will do is, we will go back to the question and try to introduce a negative sign. So negative sign ke liye R square tha. R square ke saath mein minus 1 likha. To minus alag kara r and what you will be left here is with minus 2 right if you add that you you will get the same thing equal to this and there is an r factorial outside now if you see r r square minus 1 can be written as r minus 1 r plus 1 and now let's say i bring that r factorial back here into picture right and this will be r minus 2 and this will be r factorial sir we cannot simplify r minus 2 into r factorial. Understood. Don't worry about it. Right. So let's simplify first of all this particular term. If you notice here what has happened. I can write r plus 1 into r factorial as yes. I can write this as r into r plus 1 factorial minus r minus 2 into r factorial. Did you guys notice that we guys have done our job? by this expression when we say we guys have done our job why we say that we have done our jobs the answer is very simple to this so if i here if i here in the first term replace r by r minus 1 i am going to get this particular term which proves that these are two consecutive terms and when you have two consecutive terms the question is simple now what you will do you have summation where r goes from 1 to n what you will do tell me guys now the job is done i hope you have understood and enjoyed this particular question here the answer is very very simple we will put the smaller value of r in the smaller term so here we will put r equal to 1 and we will put r equal to n in this particular term so what the answer would be that we will be getting this will be n minus 1 into n plus 1 factorial minus of minus 1 right you will get a minus 1 into 1 factorial so we can say plus 1 so the final answer that we guys are looking forward to is, is this particular problem please understand that this is a pattern oriented problem not a difficult problem at all i agree to all of you but yes you have to understand how to solve factorial and summations it's a very common pattern at j okay so uh, we also as usual have the homework question please let me know that how you guys are going to solve this particular problem right in the comment section we'll be taking this particular question beautiful problem in the next episode